Hello, this is Daniel Gray from SoulEats.com, and today we are at um, uh, Mist Shibuya at D-Cube City in, um, over by Shindoim Station. This is a fascinating new ramen place, especially since um, it actually has a couple stores in Hong Kong that became very famous. They got a Michelin star there. And it's really famous because they do the really rich pork broth. They have uh, homemade oh. noodles, and um, and their their pork is just so tender. They also do some uh, gyoja, which are dumplings there. But um, their most famous thing is for the um, for the noodles. Now you can see the chef here. They're um, they're working together to uh, make each individual bowl. It's very interesting to see the intricacy that they do with all of the different, um, um, each bowl of noodles. It's not just them throwing everything into a bowl here. Um, you saw them, he's folding over the noodles on top in the broth, just to make sure that it's easier to eat, and also that um, it just better presentation as well. He's folding every single one of those over. The broth here is probably just absolutely stunning. Now I did get the miso ramen as well, but I don't recommend that. They don't use really high quality miso, and the, um, the just the regular pork broth is is what is you know what they're famous for. Now he's putting in the pork, he's using the pork there, and that pork is so tender. I don't know how they cook it, but it's so incredibly tender that when it hits that broth, it just almost disintegrates. And well, it disintegrates. So they cut the pork. Now he's putting some green onions on the top there, and it's almost ready to go. And um, after he is he's serving this, you get it, and it's not like. A, a boiling, boiling hot broth like um, at Korean restaurants that you would really get. Here, it's um, you know it's just at the right temperature. And he's, uh, I think he's put some pickles on there as well. Every single bowl gets this sort of attention. He's trying to make sure that um, he's got everything in there. So he's got a little bit of uh, seasoning on top there as well. And now he's ready to go. Um, when you have this, you'll understand what I mean.